So we've got um, a little Westie. Yeah, so this is Guess, the Westie Puff. Hello, Guess. And then a little Pomsky. Yes, that, yeah? that is Bella. She's seven months old. When Guest arrived, we noticed something not right with the spine and the tail, yep. and possibly this is causing some incontinence. Okay. And Bella, she is also incontinent. Oh, wow. So we've got bowel and urine. There's one wow. of each for them. You've got enough pee and poo to deal with. Yes. <laughs> you don't need incontinence on top we of it. We definitely that. don't. Gosh, okay, <laughs> should we get them out and go somewhere yes. a little bit quieter to examine them? Yes, yeah, sounds good. It's just so impressive how dedicated these people are that work so hard to care for these dogs. And being a vet, it's quite a handy trade around here. So it's really good to be able to help some of these dogs on their journey to find a forever home. So, Do you want me to hold her, yeah? First, Scott examines Bella, a Pomsky or Pomeranian Husky cross who urinates almost non-stop. This seems quite torrential, mm. so yes. her need to, to go to the toilet yeah. all the time, it could absolutely be a urinary infection. Let me see if you've got a bladder. Good girl. It's okay. Definitely maybe a few problems afoot there. Okay. So my concern is that she might actually have a, a birth defect in okay. her urinary tract. Okay. And it's something called an ectopic ureter. So basically, from the kidneys, yeah. you've got a little tube that comes down to the bladder. And sometimes they actually avoid the bladder and go straight into the outside. Okay. And then you get this consistent leakage. Wow. You are absolutely yeah. exquisitely beautiful. She is. Isn't she? My gosh. <laughs> hey, you're a sweetheart. Scott's next incontinent patient is Guest, a little West Highland white terrier who constantly soils himself. Yep. Be careful of the back end, right? Yeah, yeah. Hello, you. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna spin him around to you there. Yeah. And oh dear, that is certainly, that's not your best side, mate. That is, that's a bad angle. He doesn't go to the toilet as such, it just comes out. Okay, let me just have a little feel. Ooh, wow. His spine is very odd. Oh, really? Wow, it's like a ski jump. Really, this spine is actually deviated, so that's his spine and it's coming out like that. So it's, it goes down, up, out. Oh, wow, okay. So it's a very, very abnormal, but that tail is so stiff. Like, I don't even think he could wag that. Oh. Scott suspects the incontinence of both dogs is caused by birth defects. He'll x-ray Bella and Guest later in the day to confirm his diagnosis. I do need to do some imaging and then we can work out what, if anything, there is that we can do to try and help them. But I'm not very hopeful. Should we sort you out? Should we sort you out? Yes. There we go. And then up here. All right. All right, boys and girls, here we are. Nurse Lowry from the clinic will help Scott take the x-rays, starting with Bella, who needs a special kind of scan. Basically, this girl's issue is that she's constantly weeing. So, basically, the plan is that we will be performing uh, urography, so uh, a contrast examination of her urinary tract. Bella is sedate and injected with a chemical that shows up under X-ray, allowing Scott to see if her urine moves through her body as it should. Tests on Bella's urine show no sign of infection, a common cause of incontinence. X-ray. Hopefully the X-rays will explain why the hapless Pomsky is continually urinating. So I've just taken a series of X-rays on Bella now that we've given her that contrast medium, the liquid. And what they're showing is the bladder is filling, but it's filling just on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, the tube is coming right down the side. So it's basically circumnavigating the plug, meaning that Bella urinates pretty much all the time. X-rays confirm that Bella will need corrective surgery to have any hope of living a normal life. For Bella, it does mean a trip to a specialist to reposition where the ureter attaches to the bladder. 
But unfortunately, this particular condition, even with treatment, comes with about a 50-50 chance of improvement. So this may mean that it's a lifelong issue of incontinence for Bella. Scott desperately hopes there's better news ahead for poor little guest. Right, you, it's your turn. <laughs> As evening descends at the veterinary clinic, Good boy. Friendly young Westie Terrier guest is next on the x-ray table. X-ray. You can see how abnormal this tail's vertebrae are. Then the more you get down to this section, the more abnormal they become. This should flow like this. That's how a tail works. Um, this is going up there and out. So we'll absolutely have compression. That area there is one of the most important regions for controlling both bladder and bowel continence. And the fact that it's completely abnormal from birth, unfortunately he will never defecate normally, ever. It hadn't quite dawned on me why the charity that Sylvia set up is called Many Tears, and now I really know why. It's very sad indeed. It's been an emotional, draining first day. But Scott must quickly regroup with so many other dogs at Many Tears that desperately need his help. Thank you very much. We'll see you again. All right, bye. Come puppies. Okay, that's it. The next morning, Scott delivers the heartbreaking results of Bella and guest x-rays to Sylvia and Cassie. Naughty guest. <laughs> Naughty guest. Morning, ladies. How are my patients doing? Hi. Hi, guys. You guys are okay? Hi, Bella. Hi, guest. Let's start with Bella. She does need quite specialist surgery. This isn't something that I can do. It will be a relatively expensive surgery. And unfortunately, it doesn't come with a 100% success rate. It's probably between 50 and 70%. What do you think you can do on that front? Well, we'll have to do something harder to convince people to pay out of it. You're not sure it's gonna work, but we'll try and raise the funds. This, unfortunately, is the good news part. The bad news comes in the form of young guest there. So I can see he's got a very pooey bum again this morning. And he is beautifully perfect until you get to his tail. He has one of the most abnormal spines I've ever seen in my life. If he was painful, unfortunately, I don't think that we should allow him to keep going. And I can't give them any hope at all because there is none that he will ever defecate normally. I'm really sorry. It's hard to hear for Sylvia and for Cassie, but sometimes you have to take the good with the bad. And yes, we might not be able to do much uh, with guests, bless him, but we have to keep on fighting the good fight to make sure the rest of the dogs here have the best treatment they possibly can. Maybe a fancy nappy for you? I think you could rock it. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least until we get the surgery done. All right. While Sylvia tries to raise funds for Bella's incontinence surgery, Very alert. Yeah. her immediate future has taken an amazing turn for the better. Hello there. I feel like I'm interrupting a bit of a, a love in here. Hi I'm there. Scott. How are you going? You must be Jay. How's it going? How you doing? You're yeah, great. I'm good. Hello, Bella. So, a little birdie told me you've got some good news for me. Yes, well, currently I've decided to foster Bella. <clears throat> until she is able to have an operation and get herself all fixed up, ready to go to a forever home. Ah, oh, you're an absolute superstar. Thank you so much. That, that is such great news. New foster dad Jay is one of the dedicated team at Many Tears, totally devoted to the animals they care for. So I see that she's got uh, a new bit of clothing on. Uh, did she 
disgrace herself at home, did she? Yes, well, the first night she came home, I decided to have her up on my bed, as you would. How couldn't you? And I woke up the next morning to a massive pile of pee all over my bed, and my room absolutely stunk. <laughs> well, I don't know if we can blame the dog for all of the fact that your room stinks. <laughs> but it sounds like it's love, which is good. Yes, but I never know if I have it too long. You never know what'll happen, eh? Oh, there you go. Well, I think she loves a new dad. Let's just see if this surgery is successful. Fingers I hope crossed. So. I hope so. I really yeah. do. Bye, Bella. Good luck with that surgery. Bye, gorgeous. Bye. Tiny Terrier Guest is now known as Gaston after being adopted to a couple that are just smitten by their little bundle of joy. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.